to be interesting. Flying for the first time and on my own. So this is my room for the next six days. Actually pretty lovely. I have expected worse and this is tea for free. Love that. <laughs> And here is the little bathroom. Hi, so finally after years and years of talking that I want to go to London, I'm in London now. Um, I flew over here today. And I woke up at 4 a.m. in the morning, so I'm pretty tired, as you can imagine. Um, the plane took off in Vienna at 7 a.m. And it should have landed at around 9, 9.30 a.m. Vienna time here in London. But uh, we were delayed and um, yeah, I got off the plane almost an hour later because um, yeah there was a lot of fog and the pilot told the people that um, he has to wait till he gets the okay for landing and that took some time so we were going around in circles over Heathrow and uh, it was about 40 minutes we were going around in circles and I did not really like that. Um, not just because I really hate flying and I'm extremely scared of flying, but um, I was also a bit yeah, nervous what will await me here. And uh, because I'm so scared of flying I could not sleep really um, good in the last two weeks. I didn't really eat a lot because I felt sick the whole time. Um, yeah, and after I got off the plane, um, there was fog in London, yes, but um, as soon as I have been in the tube, um, there was sunshine. And the tube ride took almost as long as the flight. So I was, I was going to Houston, to Ibis Hotel, um, about almost two hours. I met an extremely nice, very old American couple and they had to go in the same direction so we were um, helping each other out um, where to go and we were looking for a lift or escalators but there were none in the tube stations, so we had to carry our heavy bags um, up the stairs. What can I tell you about my first day here? <laughs> um, I arrived here in the hotel and was really tired. Then I was going through my things for about an hour um, and packing my bag that I wanted to take with me when I'm going sightseeing. And um, yeah, as soon as I knew that I'm going to London, I wrote a travel diary. And um, I have some maps in here with different sites that I want to visit and see. Also with the opening times and how much um, the entry will cost. And um, yeah, it's the TARDIS blue, of course, 
UK TARDIS. I mean, that means something. And um, yeah, I've been to a few sites today. Before I went sightseeing, I took a little nap here because I was so tired and of course, again, a headache. Um, but after that, I went outside, saw St. James's Gardens, which is right out of my hotel door, which is great and um, really peaceful. Then the first thing that I needed to see and where I went was, of course, North Gower Street, um, where they shoot Sherlock, the Baker Street um, 221B location, and uh, Speedies, of course. And the great thing is, um, of course, this typical door everyone um, knows. Benedict Cumberbatch as Sherlock once turned the knocker, um, the door knocker, I think it's called, um, a little bit aside, and uh, it still looks like that. So that was really cool. Um, I don't know if it was really him who left it like that or if a tourist put it that way, but I think that's a nice hint for everyone who knows the show. Um, after that, I went to um, Houston Square and I took a walk down to St. Pancras and the British Library and after that I went to King's Cross and platform 9 three quarters. Platform 9 of the 1644 Great Northern service to Kingsley via Cambridge which is ready to leave. And I visited the Harry Potter shop. Um, it was not as expensive as I had expected and um, before I came back in the hotel I found an amazing little supermarket called I think Wait Rose or something like that but a um, fruit salad and yeah now I'm back here I've just ordered curly fries down in the restaurant from the hotel and now I'm going to go to bed because, like I said, I haven't slept a lot and I'm very tired. This little fella um, is a present from a friend and I said that I'm going to take this with me. Um, yeah, and I did. So, he will come with me sightseeing. <laughs>